I thought it was only phase. You remember that huge thing with a uh, phase promoting um fuck what was it? It was like a loot box gambling thing like win yourself a pair of Yeezys by clicking this link and then you'd click the link and you'd win like a piece of bubblegum in a box. Yeah, I remember that was rice gum that was doing that one. That was the big one back then. I see the tier one ghoul grump and the big tier three destroy. And the resub breadest of bread and JP. And definitely not doing that, Sal man. Sounds horrible. This is the story of the worst influencer scam I've ever seen. Hey, and I've seen a lot of them, okay? I'm practically a connoisseur at this point. A specialist in influencer scams, if you will. So believe me when I tell you that. So today I'm going to be giving you the short version of the Death full Reaper. juicy story of the new allegations coming out on Raging Bull. Bull. Save the Kids token. We already know that Save the Kids was a failed crypto pushed by some of the top influencers on Rough. YouTube. If you haven't already seen my video, it's right here. You can also watch Mudahar's video on this. We've covered this in great detail. But what no one knows is whether any of these influencers knew it was going to be a scam ahead of time. Thanks they the can bits and ping. have claimed plausible deniability. One of them saying, quote, I have no ill intent promoting any crypto altcoins. It was all a big mistake. They are victims just like the other people. Today, I will be showing that this was a complete lie because i've traced some Thanks of these the influencers crypto wallets and we'll be revealing no what ping. they did with the crypto coins they've promoted to you and are now trying to hide the evidence now that it's all coming out i will also be showing you hard proof that this save the kids token wasn't designed to benefit kids i will oh, show you in the literal code of the I coin can't believe itself it. that it was designed from the outset with Thanks the intention to chugs to and it. money from these influencers fans and followers. Let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I saw Muda's video on it, but it wasn't a crazy story then. This is apparently crazy. Detective, and wow, there's no way to make this a short story. So we're going to start this case at the beginning. A month ago, a friend of mine reached out to me and told me about a failed crypto project called Save the Kids Token. That wasn't that surprising. I get tips all the time, and I just sort of shelved the project while working on my Tether investigation. But something they had said had stuck with me. It told me that several the prime devil influencers pump. were on board with this one, making it different. Phase K, Phase Jarvis, Phase Tico, Phase Nikan, Rice Gum, Summer Ray. I mean, these are some big some of the biggest in the influencer world. Together, they have well over 50 million followers between them. So the fact that all these huge names are behind something made me want to revisit it. How could they allow themselves to promote something that fell so flat? As soon as it launched, it was dead on arrival. You know, this got me interested. And it had me thinking. I had recently covered the Kim Kardashian promotion. I'd seen the Floyd promote crypto. And I was starting Jesus, to wait, how many... How much wait, money Floyd promoted a crypto? Stuff, right? How much are people paid... The man do? can't even read. I mean, I'm sure <laughs> who would... Who would be like, yeah, I'll but buy what he's selling. Like this for free. My name's Frazier. My name's Jarvis. I'm Tico. I'm Raisco. I'm Nikon. And I support Save the Kids Token. Save the Kids Token. Save the Kids Token. Save the Kids Token. Save this the is kids so token. sweet. Wow. So I decided to look into it. The first thing I did Exit was go one, to Ivy Soros Rex in the Prime. Save the Kids. Hacky and Resub uh, Calmadare and Animaniac. Article. They wrote some Cowboy. article basically explaining why it all failed. They said in a post, the most important thing to state here is that ambassadors of Save the Kids are not paid by us and are not given any kids tokens. Yeah, ambassadors that's probably right. I believe that. They dump their tokens as claimed in the Telegram. As ambassadors, we're never given any tokens. Any of our ambassadors are involved in our project because they have bought into and believe in our mission. Ah, yes, we'll come back to that later. They believe in helping kids. Remember that. So I'm thinking at this point, okay, they believe in their project. You're saying they weren't given any kids tokens. Why do you keep saying bloat his so dick so hard I made failed. butthole wise? Like, what does that even mean? Is that like a Dr. Seuss book? Anti -bot mechanism. Why do you just keep this saying that for the last like 10 minutes? It's a hard code that prevents large holders of a coin from selling out at once and this piece of marketing was repeated over and over because we said the animaniac and royal bulge can't sell more than 0.1 percent or transfer it in 24 hours no larger than 20 percent of a whale's botted wallet can be sold within 24 hours yes and the whole idea here is to show people that this project is not going to be a quick rug pull which in crypto is a the and stocks. Pumped and dumped immediately on arrival and is abandoned 
by large investors. And in their postmortem, they say these actual measures did indeed work as expected. It was audited by tech rate. But if everything worked as expected and these ambassadors were just in it for the kids, <laughs> why did the project immediately crash? Well, because kids stopped existing. There was no kids left to save. Everyone was just protected. We saved every kid. We're telling a None very left. different story. Members of the Telegram were panicking and insisting that millions were scammed. Faye's team took the profit and left. Why would Faye's risk their reputation for this? Yeah, they have you such a good reputation. Faze clan has done multiple pump and dumps, right? LMAO, there's a reason all their tweets are new after arcane, they came out on Starkian launch. vibes. And usually you don't have a whole host of people accusing you of scamming if there was nothing fishy going around. So I decided to do some further digging and this whole idea of ambassadors and not being given any coins turns out to maybe be wrong. According to the admin, they said, ambassadors bought in. We don't have their wallets. Don't know who bought or sold. Interesting, because earlier we were told they didn't sell. And oh. then we get this news, quote, we got confirmation from some of our ambassadors that they would not sell anything and simply bought pre-sale to support the project. Fuck yeah. No, pre-sell is a special Very access nice. to people before the token Thanks is to resub snack. on the market. Typically, you get much better yeah, I like Jeff. to buy at. But again, this idea that these Jeff's the fucking man didn't get anything from this project other than just wanting to help the kids seems to be a Thanks little bit disingenuous solitude. since it seems like some of them bought in. But again, we're reassured, look, they're not they're not going to sell, right? So at this point, I'm thinking things are really fishy. So I reach out to Lucas, the developer. See, after the failure of Save the Kids and everything flopped, he was basically the last person still hanging around the project. And at first he seemed helpless, kind of like a fall guy, honestly. In a post, a moderator explains that Lucas is not the founder of this coin, even though he developed it. He says, quote, Lucas is a dev that was contracted till the 14th of June to write and set the foundation of this coin. Lucas chose to stay on and to work on this project. Why even bother? Whilst the other save money, left, just pretend the coin the exists. Of the coin. You don't need Fair to program enough. shit. It's a bit weird that we don't know who's responsible for just this. Set up a website and say, "Here, buy here." These huge celebrities, but fine. When I reached out, Lucas responded and was pretty eager to help. Honestly, he had said he had been taking a break from Telegram. I said, "No worries, thanks for reaching back out." I asked him, "Who is the, the true founder really? of Save the Kids?" Because he's just I know Mr. Like a developer, but it seems like he would know. Was it FaZe Clan, Influencer, The Mob? Like Not really what I'm looking for, though. Thing. I literally have no idea. He told me, I wish I could let you know, because I really don't. We kept talking, and he told me that he suspected foul play and that this was bigger than one crypto coin. My theory, a group of large money names are going around, finding dev teams, finding promoters, and setting up a large hyped launch, then dipping initially. He also told me, the only real contact he had was a, tier a guy one named Manny. Crown and, and the Prime H. Eden. I asked for their contact information. He said, no clue. Blocked. I got blocked by all of the team, basically. <laughs> all right, so at this what point, What a good idea. I'm pissed, right? Block like, the one guy that could ruin everything for you. Who gets made to be the fall guy for a token that, like, wasn't his idea. He got, seems like he got hired to do it. Now it's coming on him. So I'm a like, tier one Look, can you think of any tie to the founders? You know, it only takes one True, clue to find everything. And he responds that he does have a clue. So I got tokenomics at gmail.com that sent me the contract who I also emailed back my PayPal for the 10K they paid me. Then all the rest was from H on Telegram. Bingo. That's all we need. Tokenomics at gmail.com. That's the clue that's going <laughs> to unravel everything i start searching it's like a scooby-doo right. case Get the computers they're gonna running. unmask it and it's him coffee zilla's behind all in. of it but i can't find anything this account is a ghost usually there are a few threads you can pull on check your bits no that was a meme my they didn't actually donate fucking 20k bits or whatever that was he me back with news i couldn't have ever expected the kid is lying that email doesn't exist on paypal I used forgot password to check. According to PayPal, there is no account associated with that tokenomics at gmail.com. That's something that I hadn't considered before. Exit tier maybe one. This good. Developer, if the resub person, chug. Maybe he's lying to me and he's actually involved in sending me on some wild goose chase. I, I don't want to let him know I'm suspicious yet. So I start asking for Pepe a Pepe Sylvia. That yeah. seems to have signed. All of a sudden, he gets testy. He asks for a lawyer. Hmm. Interesting. The next day, he makes it even more clear. He says, hey, Zilla, sorry. So my lawyer said, don't share anything for now. <laughs> and also, I'm not sure I'm willing to help out much more. 
since your video has been up, I've gotten a lot of death threats and somehow my family even got one. So I'm not looking to further involve myself. Sorry. Hope you understand. What a weird a story. Comment, I didn't mention Lucas in the video at all that he's talking about. I respond, Lucas, you need to talk, man. If you have nothing to hide, I can tier one. get fairly represented. Hoochie? But parts of your story aren't lining up. Yeah, like maybe so, 10, man. from PayPal from tokenomics at gmail.com. I checked that email for PayPal. It doesn't exist. A couple hours later, he deleted his account. All these logs were saved in advance. And at this point, <laughs> I'm pissed because I'm pretty sure that this kid is full of it or not telling me the whole story Whoa. of what he knows and is sort of trying to back out of this thing because I never mentioned him in my video and he's sort of all of a sudden, as soon as I start asking bigger questions, he starts clamming up, talking about lawyers. And I'm still no closer to finding out the truth about what happened with Save the Kids. I mean, was it influencers? What Was it this developer? Was the it th this anonymous cookies? founder, Mr. H? Like, who's behind it all? Who's responsible for this? In my first video I'd put out, I had called the coin uh, a scam. I answered that, Smokeless. I, I talked about Mr. Bow in there for a did minute. They sell, didn't they? I don't sure really like, like it that did, much, man. Not know for a YouTube night. Or how much they sold. So it feels like at every turn, I'm stonewalled. The dev isn't talking. I can't trace the wallets. The influencers are staying silent. Now, the thing is... No one's point, gonna get arrested. It's crypto. Got in on at this point, it's like made for scams. Stuff, but here's the thing. We know where those Any real projects went. are fucking That's dead now because everyone just now knows them all as scams. Everyone. You know, where the money was sent, what those wallets then did with those Save the Kids tokens, exactly when they sold them, if they bought more, etc. It's Mackie, all out there. RS1 the and guns. Is, we don't know whose wallets are whose. There isn't some big name on these long blockchain addresses that says like FaZe Clan or Rice Gum. It's just a bunch of random numbers and letters. And without that key information, there's no way of really telling which influencer sold what. Until now. Dupes, you know, maybe they got in over their heads and simply were fooled like everyone else. Mm -hmm. Maybe they were victims, subs, Nath. right? So we really maybe don't have Carl. the full story. You, so for a day or two, I was just like stuck thinking about sub, how can we prove whose wallets are whose. And then sand. I remember something. These influencers have been deleting tweets, like a lot. Some of them deleted their support of Save the Kids project, but that's not all. They've even deleted other crypto projects that they've promoted and done giveaways. And I started to wonder, what if those projects were also scammed? What if, at minimum, they oh. were equally sketchy? What if this wasn't a one time Is the prime take so? They left some incriminating evidence in one of their earlier schemes. It's worth a shot because, like, my other leads were drying up quick. So I just start no-lifing the archives. Tweet after deleted tweet I'm hunting through, and finally I notice a pattern of giveaways with some of these guys. They'll say something like, this is the craziest thing I've ever done. I will double your safe galaxy wallet. This tweet has now been deleted, but I pulled it up in the archives. And then they pick some winners. You won. Just confirming this is the right address? Maybe you see where this is going. Let's go. Here's my wallet address. This is all we need. Using this wallet, we simply cross-check it at the time of giveaway, see that they got the winnings, and then check who sent it. We then check if he did it. has saved the kids. He did it! And other tokens that these people have promoted in the past. If it's actually Phase K's wallet, it should have he's both assuming Save direct Galaxy, control. which he's promoting here, and Save the Kids tokens, which he also promotes. And it does. Here's the Save the Kids tokens. Hey, thanks for the huge the 10 gift subs, token, Greeley. Thank you, Greeley. He got from the Safe Galaxy deployer, meaning he's not just some random person. He's clearly someone with influence. That's I really appreciate it, Greeley. Tokens do it. They give free tokens to the influencers from the deployer wallet. That's all there is to it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I just repeated that process for each influencer, and I found three confirmed wallets. Phase K, Phase Jarvis, and Phase Nikam. The other is the resub marshmallow. And they give but some you know what this means? Spoiled. Means now that we have their wallet address, which is public, we just didn't know whose public wallet address was theirs. Now that we have that, we can see what they did with their Save the Kids tokens. We can check all their so-called crypto endorsements that they've been doing and find out do they actually endorse these products or do they dump them immediately on you? Let's see. You I wonder. Just remember. These guys, these influencers, leading up to this token being launched, promotional tweets are sent out. You know, a damn commercial was being made. And remember, hey, it's all to save the kids, right? We're doing this not for money, but to save the kids. This is Faze Jarvis's wallet. 
He got in. Well, I don't know about that light gun, but I hope it goes well, man. Of his total holdings within days of the launch. This is Faye's kneecap. He immediately sold about a third of his total holdings and then seems to have held on to the rest. But by far, the really bad one was Faye's K's wallet. He dumped all of his kids' tokens immediately. Within 24 hours, he went from 6.2 billion tokens to four tokens now. <sighs> That's right. He sold all but four tokens. But obviously, what's interesting here is that not all of these influencers acted quite the same way. You know, FaZe Nikan sold a third right away, held under the rest. FaZe Jarvis sold two thirds. How much did he make off that? But FaZe K completely abandoned the project altogether. Why? Well, I think it has to do with their intentions. Look, I, I looked pretty extensively over FaZe Nikan and Jarvis's wallet history. So they when does Rice Gum come into this opinion, then? Have a pattern of malicious selling. What I mean by that is when they get a coin, you know, maybe they'll get some coins, sell some, buy some, and, you know, sell some more, hold on to something like a trader would. Holy and of course, fuck. I'm not saying that promoting garbage scam coins to your fans is okay, right? It's not. But everything they're doing, it seems like they're not premeditating to sell everything. Phase K, on the other hand, whose wallet we're looking at now, should be called Phase Rug, actually. And what I mean by that is that he not only sold Save the Kids in. All right, I've got the gist of it now. Sounds about what uh, I was hearing on Twitter. Thanks to give sub Lost and Raulo and the resub Aesthetically Geeky. Nice. You missed a lot, but in the rest of the video? Isn't it just going to be that for the other two? It's pretty much exactly what it was like a week ago. Except now it was like completely tracked and confirmed. What do you do with the cards of Pokemon packs? Just wipe my ass with them and just throw them away. That's about it, really. This is tier one. Thanks for the tire. Oh, tier. Thanks for the tier one. Nice. Fuck yeah. Thanks to the resub, Vera. In the resub Milky Way. I don't know Milky Way. Milky Ways are fine. Didn't you promote a coin, Charlie? I talked about every coin ever fucking made. The one that I was really big into though was Bingus. I bought so much of that shit. Now it's all worth zero dollars. So I pretty much just scammed myself just by buying crazily on FOMO. But yeah. All my shit's zero dollars. I never sold a fucking thing. The only good thing about the charity ones was I kind of expected that eventually happen, but at least it all went to dogs. So. It was a donation and a broken dream. Doge is where it's at. Uh, you're right. You caught me in a lie. I sold Doge. That was the one thing I sold right before Elon Musk went on Saturday Night Live. I 